Uh, hello, hello, guys. Uh, it's Bongi here again. So here we have uh, the MSI uh, desktop. This is a very, very lovely machine, guys. I won't lie to you. I wish I can get one and play games the whole day. Playing games one way on this lovely machine. You can see the RAM as well. It's got a it's got a DDR4. Uh, it's got two SSD slots. It's M.2 and the other one here. Okay. Uh, guys, I won't lie. This is a very 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 nice machine. Even the USB port, it's a uh, 3.1. And the maximum speed is up to 10 gig per second anyway enough about uh, stories uh, let's just go straight uh, to a point anyway guys this is not uh, turning on this came to me like this uh, the owner of this PC it's Simpiwe he was phoning me anyway I promised to do this video for him but guys, uh, anyway, do you remember the last uh, MSI we did, right? The last desktop we did, uh, it was the MSI. This one, it's there on one of my videos. And uh, on that MSI, if I remember very well, the problem was the PCH. I think the PCH is underneath, it's usually the underneath, um, underneath the thing, this heat sink. All right, usually there will, there will be some screws here. All right, here we go. Yeah, I believe there is a PCH here. But all, I mean, all the MSI ports are common. And one thing I have noticed about the MSI motherboard, uh, in most cases, the problem is what is the PCH. And you remember very well what we did on the last one. It was a short on the PCH and I injected the 3.3 there was a power supply there was a, a power lines here here somewhere some somewhere around the heat sink supplying the, heat, uh, the PCH so what I did was I injected the 3.3 volts and the PCH was getting hot anyway before we even lie and say this is a common issue, but I think, but on my case, I want to show you guys, with most of the MSI desktop that I tried to repair, the problem is always what? It's always there, the PCH. And unfortunately, I don't have them. They're repelling my chain. Uh, anyway, let's just go ahead. Uh, what do we need for this uh, job? As always, you need the multimeter. You need a DC bench power supply and you need a, a hot air station. All right, but first, let's go ahead. Uh, this is my multimeter, so make sure it's on the continuity mode. Turn it on. All right, we want to, to search uh, for a short. Because there is no power here, we don't have any any power supply. It's 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 night now. I don't have any power supply with me. But what what we can do? Uh, let's check for short. Let's start with the uh, five five volts before we even go to three volts. Because you know, once we go to three volts, we will know the answer if maybe the PCH is shorted or what. Since the PCH is connected with the 3.3 volts so we, we will know if the PCH is short set or what otherwise let's just start with the 3.3 volts so that we will know if the 3.3 volts is short set uh, it's possible that the problem is coming from where from the PCH anyway I just want to give you some tips these are the tips guys so that you won't waste any time trying to repair something that is not uh, repairable uh, yeah and we 
we'll just go ahead and the thing is the question is how do we check uh, for triple three votes because remember this is a mother board i mean this is a desktop mother board so it won't be the same as a laptop mother board okay uh let's go ahead uh anyway i have a plan to check uh for triple and three votes whether it's short set or not we can use a power button where is the power button here Believe me, the power button is connected somewhere, somewhere on these pins, and uh, it won't be easy to find power button. Uh, let me check something. It won't be easy to find the power button. Guys, just think. Well, what can we use as our test point to check if the 3.3 volts is shorted or not? And if it's shorted, uh, it's probably it's caused by what by this chip by the PCH but in this motherboard in this uh, uh, with most of this motherboard the problem is always what it's always the PCH in most cases all right uh, here we have a startup chip uh, let's check uh, for short near the startup chip because why I'm checking I'm, I'm checking the startup chip it's because uh, instead of chip and uh, PCH and the BIOS chip, we have a BIOS chip here and the power button are all connected, they all use it, uh, they all use uh, 3.3 volt. Okay, there's no shot. So I'm just using the capacitor around, as you can see on my multimeter, there's no shot. Okay, how do we check? For short, you connect one probe to ground. Uh, let me show you ground. I'm using the straw hose as always. If you connect uh, one probe uh, here, make sure it's touching the straw hole, it's touching the thing, the ground there. Okay, and with the other one, you can see, and the other one, you will, you will, you will be touching the capacitors. No short, no short. No short. Anyway, I'm sure you are wondering and you want to know what exactly I'm doing. Let me show you how uh, i want to show you under the microscope how do you test uh for shorts because as you can see what i'm touching here you can't see exactly what, what i'm doing there so i'm, I'm just going to switch to my microscope okay let's turn on the microscope okay and put it a bit okay so what about that okay trying to push it I hope you can see uh, let's switch let's see oh yeah this is the big chip anyway this is the big chip the startup chip and these are the capacitors ceramic capacitors so what i was so what i was doing actually here i was touching from this side and touch the other side so one side should be as you can hear sweeping but the other side it shouldn't be why it's because capacitors they don't allow power to pass from one side uh, to another side so that's why one side is beeping and the other side is not beeping and uh, here it's connected to ground and the other one to the power ring I believe it's 3.3 volts okay so so you just check the capacitors around
C is short Z. I'll put him here in the sound, the soil is short Z. Both sides, the split pin on both sides. See what I was saying? Okay. Okay, but already we have a short. Okay, we have a short today. Uh, probably the 3.3 is short set. Okay. Yeah, there's no shots, but I hope you, you, you had the other shots there. Okay, so, so now we have concluded that there is a shot. Okay, concluded that there is a shot. Uh, to conclude more simply. Uh, this is very very simple. Let's check the BIOS. Let's let's use the BIOS. Connect one probe to ground. And you know what is ground, right? One. This is ground. It's two holes that round. So one probe is touching there. Okay, and the other one is touching uh, pin number eight. Pin number eight of the BIOS C is pin. Short head. Short set to ground pin number eight. It's short set to ground. Okay, I'm sure you are confused. Uh, this is the BIOS chip. BIOS chip is something like this. It can be Winborn, it can be SST, it can be um, the many companies. Uh, the many companies. Winborn is one of the well known. Even this one here. Uh, the one you have on the uh, board is a wind bond. So you see the dots here, it means it's pin number one. This dot it should align with the dots here on the board, it's pin number one. You see? So opposite to pin number one is pin number eight today. And if you count from pin number one to right hand side, you count until number four. And number four, pin number four is ground. And then when you go up from pin number four, pin number five pin number six pin number seven and the last pin up is pin number eight of which is at 3.8 volts and then and and the battery again in our case it's uh it's at it's 3.3 volts it's b pin so see here it's short head it's short head by the way don't fall i'm gonna show you under the microscope i'm pretty sure you want to see you want the proof let me just give you a proof. Okay, let's turn on the microscope. All right. Okay, here we are. Pin number eight, it's short head. Okay, let's go ahead. Put one. Okay, remember what I said. I said this is pin number one. Number two, number three, number four. Pin number four, I said it's drowned. It should beep and it's beeping. I hope you can hear it's beeping. And then from pin number four, pin number five, pin number six, pin number seven, pin number eight is 3.3. .3. But in our case, it's beeping. See, it's short head. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go back again. Let's move the microscope away. All right. Okay. So now, uh, what you can do, we need to inject power to see what is getting hot. But again, first, let me remove uh, the heat sink. I uh, will inject, and then I'll try to to check if the PCH is getting hot. Of which, in this case, I'm suspecting the PCH because it's more it's more common uh, for this motherboard. This is a this is a common thing. So this is very 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 common with uh, with MSI motherboard. PCH is always a problem. 
most cases. Okay, let's do a physical inspection. Oh shit. Oh shit, guys. The PCH is dead. Scott Spence. It's, it's dead. Fibro. Fibro. The PCH is dead. Fibro, guys, it's dead. I'm sure. Yeah. You can even see there, see, it's bent. You can even see it's bent. See the, the, the top part, it's bent. Yeah, come on, guys, you can even see there, see, so obvious. Yeah, it's bent. It's bent, and uh, the top part here, it's, it's got bent in a way that it's, uh, it's missing. It's missing the top head. Let's see, uh, let's see under the microscope. Maybe I can give you a nice shot. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Hey, but guys, it's yes, 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 yes. See that? Okay. This is my first time seeing a physically bent uh, piece of edge like this. See? It's got bent. You can even see the inner part. Guys, you see? It's bent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. anyway, what can we do? Nothing we can do, guys, because I don't have any ball in my chain. Hi, I'm so disappointed. Anyway. So disappointed. Ish, 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 ish. But anyway, I think MSI should do something about this uh, PCH thing. Because I'm telling you guys, you see, when we are repairing a, 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 an, a, I mean the MSI board, make sure that you check the PCH in case if there is no power, check for shorts. So guys, in this case, there's no need for me to check for short or do right because I can see the PCH is bent, it's physically bent, and, and, and it's my first time uh, seeing a physically bent PCH like this. <laughs> Usually, it's a case where I inject the 3.3 volt, maybe on the BIOS or somewhere, somewhere, and then the PCH will get hot. But here. It's physically, you can even see. I, I can see when you need the microscope, I can see everything. Hope you saw here, 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 here. I, 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 I'm telling you guys, I, 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 anyway, I, nothing. Nothing I can do, guys. In this case, uh, I I guess I have to to buy a rebolling machine because now this thing of um, um I mean of a shorted uh, MSI is starting to be serious. PCH thing is starting to be serious now. I think I'll have to invest in buying the rebolling machine and start replacing uh and start replacing the thing. Uh, the PC age. <laughs> anyway, uh, good night, guys. I'll see you on my next video. Shop, shop.